Plankwadrat Werte 247, Martha 135. Plankwadrat Werte 247. Well, we did get a chance to get a fix on where they spot in the crowd artillery from. Captain Chaffer, Lieutenant Henley. Oh, He's lost a lot of blood. We got to him an hour ago. He might have had a chance, but I don't know. Hey, Casper, give me that litter over there, will you? Yes, sir. He says he found the crowd OP. Wait a minute. Burgess, that OP you found, we're going to send another patrol back to try and relocate and destroy it if possible. Now it's costing a lot of lives. Are you up to going back as guide? Well, yes, sir. I'll go back. Yes, he says you can make it, sir. Right away. Saddle him up. You're going after that crowd OP. Bridges here will guide you. Right. I am a Saunders. I'll give you a couple of minutes. What's that? All right, we're pulling out. Best of work. Hi, Maury. The squad's going out to get that OP. Take your boy Bridges along as a guide. <coughs> Saunders. Just watch him. Boy. Just watch him. Protected by outposts. You know, I already counted three of them. They all tied in with trip wires. Maybe some more. Maybe. Once we get past the outposts, so I believe there won't be anything between us and the observation point. This was just a little rough real estate. What they're doing, they're spotting their artillery through two slits in the face of a concrete bunk in here. Now, I, I figure the Germans have got about a 180 degree field of vision. Right 
right here in this area. It's mined. Burgess says the observation post is a concrete bunker built in an old mine on the face of Mount La Roche. No shell fire can touch it. They can call their own artillery right down on their heads. Nothing hits them. It's a good report. It's a remarkable report. Complete and detailed. Took a lot of doing to get it. Sure did. Something bothering you? Let's have it. Something Calder said. He said to watch Burgess. What did he mean? I don't know. Never got to finish it. Yes? Hey, Cage, look who's over here! Hey, Cage! Hey, 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 Jesse! Hey, hey, bone drinking, buddy! Hey, you oh, see you, what? Jesse? You remember that? Oh, boy, I thought we lost you at the well that night. Uh, yeah, we really plowed a deep furrow up there, didn't we? <laughs> hey, what happened to the stripes? Oh, well, oh, yeah. stripes come and go, come hey, and go. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, uh, you on that patrol that spotted that crowd O.P. this morning? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, then, you're coming out with us. Well, somebody's got to show you the way. <laughs> yeah, like you showed us that Shea Duval, remember? Yeah, I got you there, didn't I? <laughs> and then somebody, and then somebody. <laughs> some. <laughs> Cause this deal's a little different. It's pretty rough out there. I'm gonna eat myself a little ball ammunition. No, just to be on the safe side. Right in the corner. Oh, you are. Hey, can't be that friendly. He's quite a guy. Yeah. He sure is. To go right back out after what he's been through. Oh, that's old Jesse for you. Uh, I mean, it. you you guys will be glad he's on your side too. Little John, you and Casper take the charges. Cage, when we get out of the area, take the point. Right. Let's go. I think I could take five. All right, hold it. Take five, keep coming. Eh. Rough, huh? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, making the same uh, route twice in one day. Yeah, well, you have to worry about me because I rest, I rest all over. My name is, uh, Casper. Oh, I do, Burgess. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I just got off a 48-hour pass just in time to make this little trek. A pass? Yeah. Boy, I guess he's just all burnt out. <laughs> yeah, I could use a little sack time with that. Hey, I brought along a little, uh, liquid vitamin. A what? A little hair of dog. The best. Oh, boy. That's really a stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's the best. Take some. Look at that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, what are you doing? Give me that. Let me tell you something. When we get back, our feet so full of this joy juice, you'll be flapping your arms and flying like a bird. See, we'll have ourselves a ball. But right now, I don't want to take any chances with a man's having trouble focusing his eyes. Some man is supposed to be fire covering for me. You understand? Now, yeah. Listen to me. What's going on here? Nothing, Sarge. Let's just have ourselves a little philosophical discussion, huh? <laughs> get up. Sarge, I said get up! I didn't mean no harm. It was left over from my pass. We'll settle this when we get back. All right, move out.
Do crowd up ahead. Look out. Now there's more men there someplace. Yeah, but how many? That's the question. All the patrols we've seen was five, maybe six men. Maybe we can bypass them. If we know how many and where. That's one way we can find out. We'll toss them a little live bait. It's all a couple men draw their fire. That way we can cut them in flank. If it's just a patrol, we can clean them out. Sure, that's what the book says, huh? I suppose they're in full platoon strength this time. What's going to happen to your live bait then? Oh, sorry, that's just a figure of speech. That's all I agree they have their hands for. Are right, you looking for a volunteer? You found one. You just take it easy, Burgess. We need you to act as guide. All right, then, how are you going to pass through? Don't you worry about it. Draw that fire. Get to that wall. When you're in position, start firing. Cover him. You showed up. I never would have. He was surrendering. He's going for a good night. Why is it? What happened? The German threw his gun down. Burgess killed him anyway. He's going for a good night. Is that what happened? I saw him throw his gun down. If Jesse says he was going for a grenade, then he was going for a grenade. can scratch one crowd patrol. Well, this area right here is mine, since I think you ought to go up around this way. All right, that's the way we'll go. It looks like that little live bait idea might have worked out all right, huh? See, at home, we never want to kill a chicken hawk. You always steak out a chicken. <laughs> Sergeant Cole is an old friend of mine. You know him a long time? Been long enough. He's a good man. Yeah, that's what my company commander said when he gave him my stripes. What about the others? What others? The others in your squad, were they good men too? Are well, they okay? Is that all just okay? Well, listen, Sergeant, I think it's when they're dead. Let's worry about who's left, not who's lost, huh? Kirby? Yeah? That German was surrendering. Oh, come off it. Little Johnny is going for a grenade. Look, Little John, you said yourself you were looking at Jess. You didn't know whether the crowd was going for the grenade or not. Look, all I know is I saw the crowd throw his rifle down. Now, don't be a meathead. He probably saved your life. Yeah, he made sure we weren't carrying any prisoners along, too. 
tight. All clear in front. Okay, stick the point. Now let's go. bodies up there. American. Yes, Sergeant. Three of them are all bunched up. That's the rest of them up a true. Let's take a look. What happened? Well, he's got a car machine gun. Sergeant Caller now is going to flank it from both sides. Well, he spotted him. Well, go on, what happened here? Well, when, when Caller got here, Casey over there went to help him, and they spotted him and cut down on the rest of them. Right there is what happened. Sergeant, Kirby found something. Machine gun. They uh, thought they had us all. They was kind of celebrating everything. Well, oh, to help you get your stripes back, Jesse. Stripes? This ought to give him a bronze star. So he kills a lot of Germans. Lieutenant Hanley said you spotted the OP from around here. I can't see it. Where is it? Well, no, uh, you can't see it from here. You have to go on up a little higher. After you knock out these Germans here, should you go back to patrol and check on your men? Well, Kohler was the only one still alive. What'd he do? He ordered you to go on? Well, you know how it is when you get wounded kind of bad. You just don't think straight. All the fights knocked out of you, everything. I kind of shoved him over in the brush and went on alone. But you know he may die if you didn't get him help pretty soon? We sent out here to find that OP. What, at all costs? Nobody said anything about costs. How long did it take you to get down from that hill? Well, I don't know. I wasn't looking at my watch or anything. Come back, call it was still alive, so I told him in. Well, I'll move up there. Mount the Rock. Looks like any other hill. Yeah, believe me, it's not, though. There's an armor plated duck blind up there. Some hunters in it, and we the ducks. I'll tell you, this, there's some better concealment all around this way. Of course, we're going to be dodging a lot of crowd patrols, but keep in mind that they're going to be looking at us through some mighty powerful glass. Let's go.
from here don't just look like another hill, does it? Just look real hard right along that line of brush right there by the crest. Underneath that's a V-shaped concrete face, you see, with two slits in it. Yeah, I got it. All right, now just, just keep your eyes on those slits. Some kind of reflection coming from the one on the left. Yeah, that's one of them. That's one of them crowd observers seeing there's one on the other side looking through the other slit. Between the two of them, you can see half a whirl. Now, just directly behind that one slit on the left there, on the reverse slope, is the entrance to the main tunnel. Where's the second tunnel? Oh, it's, uh, let's see. Yeah. See, there's a, there's a little tree over at the left, see? All right, the entrance is straight in line with that little tree away over there. Let me see that sketch you got. Right here's the observation post. Right here's the entrance to the main tunnel. Over here's that entrance to the second tunnel. And all around here, these are the outposts, and uh, there may be a few more of them in there. Any tripwires set up around there? How far up the left side of the hill can we get without them spawning us from the slits? It's all the way. That's, that's the way I went. I'm sure about where those tunnels are, huh? Yeah. I was laying up here watching them coming and going. Any defenses above that outpost? Well, nothing there. Really. One man station in each tunnel. All right. I figure we get past this position here. We go right to the outpost line, separate into two teams. Hit those tunnels at the same time. Yeah, don't forget this, Sergeant. I mean, they get an inkling and we're ready to move in on them. All they got to do is call their artillery down on us. And, I mean, it won't hurt them. They're behind the concrete and everything. We don't want to get caught outside. I don't know if we get a clump of grenades through one of those slits. Just got to get someone close enough. Well, I'd like to try that. Well, I mean, I was raising the mountains and everything. It's kind of like my job, but you don't need me as a guide or anything anymore. Okay, you got the job. Can't get at it until it's dark. The only thing we got working for us is a surprise. And we'll get one chance to use it. Gage, listen, you take the trail Bridges took this morning. See if it's safe up to the outpost line. But whatever you do, don't let the observer see you. See that big tree over there? Well, about two fingers to the left, there's a couple of crowds stuck in a hole. When it gets dark, we'll move up and knock them out. And that's where we'll go through the outpost line. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just keep down and keep your voices quiet. Dragging a little, Jesse? Yeah. This is waiting around, as the man. I mean, we start moving again, I get my second wind. <laughs> hey, there's some second wind you got that night at uh, uh, Chez Duval. You remember that? Yeah. Suppose <laughs> what it was, see old Cajun. You, you guys got back your outfit that morning. I didn't quite make it. Is that what happened to your stripes? Well, yeah, I suppose that's how I lose them all the time.
some case, Jesse. I mean, like the stripes. Don't you even care about that? What? Well, sure I do. Well, what is it then? Well, I don't know. I mean, I suppose I got a rocket or something hooked onto my shirt tail. <laughs> Off I go with it. I don't know. I mean, I just don't have any choice. Well, maybe the way you took care of them crowds, they ought to make those rockets a general issue. Yeah, sure, here in the front lines, that's just great. Same old Jesse, though, back in the rest here, and that's bad. You think you'll get your stripes back? Always do. Stay up in the front lines long enough. Shoot. I remember one time in Vaucher, when I put on such a fancy step around that they was gonna give me a field commission. You believe that? What, they're gonna give you a set of bars? Well, sure. Like I turned them down. Thinking all that brass and everything. Slob will change my personality. <laughs> hey, it'd change your circle of friends, too. There wouldn't be no more shade you vowels then. Hey, listen. Where did you get that from there? Boy, I got one for you there. Me and a couple of engineers went in there and put on a lip. Wow, curl your head and make it look like a hog's tail. Hey, Burgess. How come you don't hang around with any guys from your own outfit? Now you mean? You know what I mean? You go out with Cage, Kirby. Go out the engineers. Have men from your own squad, why is that? I don't know. Just like spread myself around, make new friends. Anything wrong with that? It only seems natural to go with guys from your own outfit. I don't pay to know anybody too close these days. You seen what happened to my outfit back here, didn't you? Anyway, what's more natural than wanting to go on out and stomp and storm around with your old buddy Kirby here? Am I right, buddy? Yeah, right. Besides, the cross got Cajun Nelson. <laughs> Right now's the time the check gets off. We're not talking about poker chips. They're heading for the OP. The crowds must have orders to take prisoners, Sarge. I just hope our old buddy Cage has enough sense to keep his mouth shut. You don't have to worry about Cage or Nelson. What's all right, that? He won't have to come his way twice for nothing, that's all. Gäste. Ja, wenn diese beiden unten... Schon gut, schon gut. Bringen Sie die beiden da rein und wollen sich da hinsetzen. Bitte, Herr Schmidt, nehmen Sie sich doch mal der beiden an. Jawohl, Herr Leutnant. Well, gentlemen. Well, if you change your mind, you let me know. Now, what were you doing so far in front of your lines? Paul Lemay. Private First Class. Serial number? One oh one nine six nine eight. Are you uh, are you boss with the three hundred sixty first infantry? My name is William Nelson, Private. Serial number four three seven five four three six. You know, men, this could take a long time. How long is up to you? When did you leave your lines? This guy is a real charmer. To me. You talk to me. How many men were in your patrol when you left this morning? Empty your pockets. Shoulder on that rock up there to the left. Yeah. That'd be my position. From right there, I absolutely guaranteed to deliver those grenades inside the OP. What are you talking about? Well, we're gonna split up into two teams. Two teams are gonna go up there and cover the tunnel entrance. One man's gonna stay down here to cover me. I'm gonna work my way up there, throw the cluster grenades inside the set. 
Are you nuts, Jesse? Gage and Nelson are in there, you know that. Grenades will get them as well as the crowds. You don't know anything till I tell you, you hear me? All right, all they have to do is phone the artillery down here on us. There'll be enough left of us down here to make meatloaf out of him, all right, sir? Relocate and, if possible, destroy. I mean, this way is possible. Am I right again? Cajun and Nelson wouldn't have a chance in there. Well, look, we won't have a chance out here. You just you shut up. I'll make the decisions around here. Let you. Bang. Well, let's get something straight now, old buddy. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Don't you give me that old buddy stuff. Cage was the old buddy, too, remember? I don't know. I just don't know. No. You are the smart one. Why didn't you go back when the others were killed? Paul LeMay. Private first class. Serial number one... So you said... You know what I think, P.F.C. Paul LeMay? I think you were foolish enough to want to get too close a look. Now you look around. Is this close enough for you? Sie sind entweder zu Hallstärk oder zu dumm, um nützlich zu sein. Ja, schon gut. Bringen Sie die beiden nach hinten. Ihr beiden, bringen Sie nach hinten. Fesseln Sie. On your feet. Yeah, I hear it. Well, that OP's been feeding their guns coordinates so they can fire blind all night. Come sun up, they're gonna start pinpointing moving targets again. I know all about it. And what we're waiting for, I mean, it's dark enough. You may have one strap so one time, but you're not wearing them now. I'll tell you when and how. Listen, before those boys got taken, there was only one plan. Let's toss these through that slit. Gage and Nelson have but one chance, and that's for us to go in and bring them out. They're gonna get that chance if you put that away. Cage and Nelson, they gone. You just scratch them off, forget about it. Listen, I said you put that away, and they'll take that away again, or else I tell you. I'm not away! feelings about anything. When we talked about it, I was decided that the best way to go up there without losing the hide to those crowds was to toss the grenades in there first. Okay. Let's go.
So you get as close as you can to the second tunnel and wait. When you hear me open up, you get that sentry and you move in fast. Let's go. Sarge, it's a Kraut burp gun. We've had it. The Kraut's on to it. Mit, wir werden angegriffen. Geben Sie sofort den Feuerbefehl. Die beiden sind... Come on. I never even got a shot off. Wait, dude. You're not going anywhere. Get away.
John and Burgess. I don't know. It's still outside. Go on, go, John. Hey, I got me sick and got for me, little John. Oh, you hit my guts. So I hit your guts. Hey, little John. Hey, give me a hand. in here. Well, uh, we destroy us all right. Jesse, didn't you even care about Cage and Nelson? Huh? Didn't you even care if you killed them? Uh, Cage and Nelson. You and me, and men down on the road getting shelled. Who's to say? There's a right to stay alive, huh? Let's hit those charges, huh? Let's get out of here. 